What's up, everybody? I started one minute early just so I could get in a fat dab. So we'll wait for some folks to come along here. And while we do that, I can do a dab. All right, I saw somebody. Somebody popping up. I'm just doing a dab here, guys. Going to get myself prepped and ready for this uh, fantastic intro live that we're going to do. <coughs> for those that were following along with uh, <coughs> a few lives ago, <coughs> I did a dab, dab that had me got for a while. <coughs> I don't think this will be as bad. Um, so, uh, what's going on, everybody? Everybody's starting to filter in. Um, we've got uh, we got Dream Beams coming to you. I have been working extremely hard getting the website done, uh, getting it all set up, getting it ready. I'll um, kind of go over that. I'll give you guys a little bit of a preview of what's going on with the. Uh, with the site, when it's going to launch, it's going to be here very soon. Um, we'll go over the strains that are going to be available first. Then we'll go over the femline drop. And just basically everything related to uh, what's going on with the uh, world of Dream Beans. Uh, let's see here. So, I always... It's... This stupid thing doesn't like to show me the, the comments. I don't know why. So, as we wait for more people to get in here, I will attempt. No, that ain't it. Nope, that ain't it either. Hmm. Because I need to be able to see you guys' comments. God bless America. I hate it when. Things don't work correctly. No, I don't want effects. Nope. That didn't do it. Oh, 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 oh. Too many. Okay, I think that could be it. Just swiping left, maybe? Okay, can somebody uh, type something for me? It says swipe left to reveal comments and reactions, but... Doesn't seem... Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. Now we're cooking, so hopefully I'll turn my microphone up a little bit. Get back to the good zoom so you guys can see that super awesome tight eye and my cat poking her head around the corner. Uh, there we go. All right. We are rocking and a rolling, rocking and a reeling Barbara Ann. For any of those that like the uh, old rocket oldies. Uh, I see everybody in here. Jonathan, Corey, David, Mike, what's up? Uh, Joe, I see you here. Um, you know, I know you guys are, are, are all, uh, anxiously awaiting any and all information about Dream Beans, and guess what? That's what we're here for. So, uh, I'm gonna go over kind of what's been going on. I've been working extremely hard on DreamBeans.net. Again, don't go there just yet, guys. It's going to go live very soon. When you ask, when is it gonna go live, you say... We're going to be going live along with the big festivities on Sunday. I did this for a couple of reasons. I figured lots of people will be home. People will be anxious about the game starting. There will be lots of things. People will maybe be in, uh, um, indulging in uh, alcoholic and adult beverages, which can always lead to higher sales for me. It's always great. Uh, Y'all get drunk. It's awesome. Y'all hit that buy button. <laughs> 
So we're going to be launching DreamBeans.net. Hopefully, if everything goes right, it should. I mean, I can push the live button now, but uh, hopefully we will get everything just super tight, super squared away. It's what I've been working on about 10 hours today. And I'm uh, going to be doing it until Sunday at noon, Mountain Standard Time. Everything I ever do is going to be on my time just because that's how I roll. We're going to be on Mountain Standard Time for everything, all drops, all lives, all launches, all announcements will be on Mountain Standard Time. And so DreamBeans.net is going to go live at noon on Sunday. We figure it's a super big deal for us, so it's a super big deal for y'all. So that's kind of, you know, hype, get, catching along with the uh, Super Bowl craze that's going on, which I think is going to be a great game. Uh, pretty excited about it. Um, we've got, um, we're going to, this is how the, uh, this is how the drop is going to go. Uh, for everybody that missed out on the regular drop that M that Multiverse Beans had a couple of weeks ago, that will be your first. This will be your first and last opportunity to get those str those strains. I'm never going to release regular strains again, most likely, unless I see a very very large demand for it. Uh, just because there's a lot of stuff involved, and you know, lots of people want to make sure they maximize their space and all that stuff, talents and uh, money and all that stuff on just female seeds. So. The regular drop is going to be, um, it's going to be 50 packs of each, just like it was for Multiverse. Um, <clears throat> guys, I'm probably going to do, like, the, I mean, the majority of them will be three packs because that's, or the, the six packs, because that seems to be what you guys uh, really, really like. And, you know, who doesn't like getting uh, a bag of beans for 30 bucks? So, um we're going to make sure that um, we have those in stock and available for everybody to go and get those. Uh, I expect them to probably be about similar to the multiverse drop. There's a lot of interest and people just, there wasn't quite enough of uh, them on multiverse. So we're going to release them again just to make sure everybody who got one wanted them. It also very well could be that they, they, they hang around for a while and that those are something that's, uh, you know, on the site for, for a while. Uh, so... That is going to be your blue Kong bear. That's going to be your double dosy bear, your slushy bear, and your grape garlic bear. From the sales numbers and the data that I got, everybody was pretty interested in this, the slushy bear and the grape garlic bear first, and the other two followed suit. Uh, don't sleep on that blue Kong bear. There's still a couple of 20 packs left over at Multiverse. Um, I'm growing all of these strains out again just for uh, for photo stuff, for for picture opportunities and things like that. I've got all of these strains that are going right now for I think the third time that I've grown these out. And man, guys, the, the, the grape garlic bear just really just blows me away every time. You know, those of y'all that were lucky enough to get it then or already have them and already have them in soil, they are really fire. I mean, they show frost almost immediately and they stink to high heaven. Good good size and every, every one of them that I've grown, I, I swear to God, they look like clones. They, they, there's, they're almost all identical. Every, I think I've grown probably 30 or 40 of those at this point, and they are all, I mean, just they're the same. They're the, they're the same. I've got three that are in a, 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 a multi-pot situation right now in a two-gallon out there, and I mean, you couldn't tell that I didn't take three cuts, three clones, and stick them in the pot. And then there's the one, there's two that are right next to it. They just, they, they all are very, very, very similar in their morphology and how they look. So that's going to be probably the, uh, I'm guessing, the most uh, demand and probably where I'm going to focus those, uh, I'm going to focus those breeding efforts for the lines probably in the order that I saw them sell out, <laughs> you know, just because it makes it easier on me and I don't have to rack my brain on what to focus on. The auto GMO uh, 17 and the bear's breath is, a, it's a killer. It's, it's a great strain. So we are... Probably going to be focusing on that, bringing that to, you know, at least an F3 before I release it and then femini you know, feminize it on the F3 uh, filial generation and get it to you guys. So for those that don't know, breeding does not happen fast. It doesn't happen quick and it doesn't happen easy. These are things that are all, you know, processes that take months and sometimes years. I'm just now, after two and a half years, getting to the point where I'm confident with the slushy bear and you know the i mean the uh the the femline that i have coming out and the femline is what i'm sure a lot of y'all guys and gals out there are wanting to know about man this is the shit that y'all's freaking parents warned you about guys this is the shit that killed elvis these are the ones that you want it's going to be the blueberry breath and the double berry slushy 
and Pappy's secret stash. These are the these are all you know really and tr really and truly my passions you know and trying to figure out the terpene profiles that I like best and breeding some autos that were stable and represented those traits very well. I've done it, I really have, and it is going to be you know it's gonna be it's gonna be the stuff that people talk about for a while that they're gonna remember. Hey, I remember the the original blueberry breath and when will it come back? Will it ever be there? There's there's uh, you know, a lot of work that goes into it, as I told you guys, and I don't want to ever really rush anything. Uh, with that being said, the Pappy's Secret Stash is an F1. It's an auto. It's going to be an auto fem F1, uh, and I, I, I'm tr generally going to try to stay away from doing F1s unless they are the potential like this one is, which is just a really unique uh, opportunity and a really unique strain and a varietal that has shown it ticks all the boxes and it's one that I want to continue to work. So getting you guys' feedback on this stuff is going to influence you guys, you guys and gals are going to be how a lot of these strains get worked and how we, the, the we, we, not me, but we search for uh, phenos. We're going to search for unicorn phenos, terp profiles. We're going to have these live discussions all the time of how people can Give me their feedback. We're going to have a spot set up on dreambeans.net where you can specifically give your feedback. That is a smoke report type situation. It harkens back to my days from autoflower.net. Again, always shout out to autoflower.net. If you guys don't know, it's the living history of the autoflowering day neutral cannabis plant. You're never going to find any more information. It is the place where a lot of us started. And you can follow along with my journey though, over the last nine years or so there of working with autos. Uh, so we're going to, I, 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 man, that dab got me. <laughs> so we're going to have the Pappy secret stash. That's going to be an F1 release. I'm going to be allowing you guys to kind of take the, take the reins on this one. You know, we're all going to grow them together. We're going to grow them out. We're going to see who likes them the most, what strains, what, or what, uh, what phenos that we like the most, which ones are going after. And then I can put my breeder brain to it. And after collecting a lot of data, that's how, and, and having lots and lots of things grown out, that's how we get to these ultimate strains. And, you know, and you guys have, have seen me, uh, you know, along with Ben Cope, Koch, Koch, I always say Cope, Ben, but it's uh, Ben Koch uh, from Speedrun Seeds. He and I have very, very similar philosophies in how we actually approach our breeding and that lots of phenos and lots of plants in pots are how we come to uh, the best of the best the cream of the crop and how we get to where we are now and where we will continue to go. You know, as, as they said, where we're going, we don't need roads, but what we do need is a lot of people growing these plants out so we can get you guys' feedback. Watch how these, watch how they grow. Look for the unicorn turp profiles and plant sizes and all of those kind of things. Then that allows me to be able to, you know, take a hundred, 200 of them, and get those nailed down and start working these things out to a more stable line. So that's going to be the Pappy's Secret Stash on the Auto Fem release. Um, then we're going to have the Blueberry Breath. Uh, I actually just, uh, if you guys will hold on with me just one second, I'll read you the description and I'll try to do so without tearing up. Uh, let's see, where did I go? That's why I have my laptop open is that so I can do all these super phenomenal technical things. Uh, what is this here? Um, what am I looking for? Oh yeah, the, the description. And I have it on my notes. Ah, there we go. I got it. I found it. Awesome. And so I'm just going to, so this is all going to be available um, when they drop on Multiverse and then on DreamBeans.net. Uh, but... The uh, the blueberry breath is definitely the one that I have taken the time to really put out a product and put out an auto that was my favorite, okay? And so that's what a lot of breeders do and that's what a lot of folks do is just because we only have what we have in between our ears and the ability to say, hey, that's something that I like and I'm sure if I like it, other people will too. So the the blueberry the blueberry is always it's always been my favorite uh, you know terpene profile in cannabis followed by the breath profile you guys will hear me talk about that breath profile a whole lot so when I decided to focus on breeding a few years ago it was it was a difficult thing for me to try to like you know where do I start you know I've got 
thousands of seeds from the top breeders all across the, the globe. And how do I pick? You know, where do I go? And so, you know, I thought, I thought about it, did a bunch of dabs, got some support from, you know, the wife and my mom. And, you know, they were like, well, what do you like? Well, hell, I don't know. And then it was, then it was a whole nother rack in my brain process of, I don't know what I liked. But for a long, long time that uh, when, I was, when I was a youngster back in the day, I grew DJ Short's original blueberry that I had sourced from a friend of mine whose father was friends with DJ Short and had access to some of his earlier work with the blueberry strain. And so he was able to give me some of those. And, and I, that's almost what I grew exclusively by clone and did them in reverse deep water culture where I created an entire uh, Max O2 technique that's still being used today. You guys, some of you may have seen the you know, 56 day double grapes that are out there that are, that are using that method. And it's, it, it was really, it really was just because uh, I don't even really like blueberries, but man, I love the way a blueberry muffin smells. When you're cooking with blueberries, when you're smelling that aroma, that cooked blueberry smell or a muffin or a batter, those are that, that man, that's, it's what it was. It was straight blueberries. There was no mistaking it. There was no other cannabis like it. And the taste transferred through when cured properly. It transferred through on whenever you smoked it. And so that was definitely, those are uh, so many good memories of that. Of course, I stopped doing that once I really moved up here and started working with autos. And there was a, there was a, there was a time of about nine months where I didn't grow and I lost the cuts and now I can't get them anymore. And that is still, it's always going to haunt me because those were the ones that I needed to make the photo to autocrosses. So... I had been hesitant for a long time to actually grow out any uh, blueberry auto strains because I just knew they weren't really going to pack the pack the flavor and the terpene profile, or I was skeptical that they would. And then Rock Bud Inc. dropped the auto blueberry slushy, he being my favorite breeder and the guy that really solidified these top-notch and top-flight autos for me. I figured I'd give it a shot and give it a shot. I got a hundred of them. I bought them retail. There was a lot of folks that were kind of pissed off about that, that I bought almost all of them at one drop whenever he dropped them. But as I promised them a long time ago that, hey, I would definitely put them to the best use. So we took those, uh, I had an 80 plant pheno hunt of the auto blueberry slushy that I was looking for the, I was looking for the blueberry. I really, really was. Now I didn't get the I didn't get the straight blueberry. I didn't get the uh, you know just just one hundred percent because there was always something a little on the back end. Now though there was it the things the stuff on the back end it varied from uh, you know kind of an appley spice almost it was really weird. That one was weird. Uh, there was there was a there's a gas a real gas one, and then there was one that was skunk ass. It was a skunk. It was rotten. It was rotten. It was rotten to the core. And so that's the one that I really focused on because I knew that one of Rock's other strains that I had previously pheno hunted, I think 10 or 12 of them, and it was the Kong Breath because Kong Breath is really a, that has that glue, glue from the glue, Gorilla Glues of the world, the glue sniffers of the world, uh, those, those real gluey tones with a breath, on the, with, with an undeniable hobo breath stank that, you know, was... Definitely, that's when I thought about what my favorite terpene profiles were. That was going to be the second one, is the uh, the breath profiles of the really musty, earthy, dank. You know, it's a lot of it. Some people I liken it to a, a mold. Um, there's a fungus smell, almost like mushrooms, dirt. A lot of people. Oh, of course, of course, y'all know I didn't charge my phone, but that's okay. <laughs> Uh, so the, uh, the Kong breath that I did the reversals on, it was the, the plant that I ended up using for the reversal for, to get the pollen from, it was, it was so stink it was so stinky and greasy that I wasn't able to keep it in the same place. I had to move it to different room because it overpowered the smell and I couldn't work with anything else and I couldn't smell anything else. All I smelled was that one plant out of 10 or 12. And so I knew that that was, that, that one was going to be special. And when the time arose to be able to, um, use that pollen, I knew I, I, I would know. Well, when the auto blueberry slushy that was, it was giant. I've got some pictures on it again on autoflower.net that, uh, there is huge. I mean, it was five foot tall, five foot across in a five gallon pot. I mean, it was giant. It was just, it was huge. It had grenade sized, I mean, grenade sized, rock hard, dense nugs that that's going to be a theme that you guys are going to see a lot with my, um, with anything that I release is that I'm definitely looking for a certain nug structure 
that one of the knocks on autos that I've always been able to do, you know, get and the criticism that we kind of receive in the uh, cannabis industry is the look or the density of these autos. And so I, they're, 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 they're there. And Rock was, Rock Blood was really the first one that, you know, kind of, I started to see a stabilization of that trait, what I consider the bulbous calyx, the bulbous stacked calyx formation. Okay, the calyx felt formation or calyx, however you say it, whenever there, a lot of ruderalis strains, for some reason, they tend to be more spiky in nature, if that makes sense for folks. Whereas, uh, you know, the top shelf uh, A-list uh, photo period strains that they have a more bulbous kind of kind of look to them. It's kind of hard to explain, but for those that know, you know what I'm talking about. The the super ah dang cat. Oh, you were lucky you didn't break my nectar collector, you kitten. Sorry, we had a kitten interruption. Uh, the um and so the the Kong breath. Whenever I got it to use, whenever I whenever I saw the really really blueberry e um. Uh, auto blueberry slushy that had the skunk butt on it on the back end was I, I knew it was going to be a a terpene profile marriage that was meant for the masses i knew that most people would be blown away when they see how stank and funk and rotten that an auto can really be because that's kind of a thing that the you know there's a, so many sweet autos golly it seems like uh, you know 80 percent of the market is made up by uh, you know, the sweets, the grapes, the, the Skittles, the, the, the there's purples and, uh, there's, and the lemons and the bananas and all that. Just uh, there's a lot of sweet out there. And for me that I, that I tried to want to take it to the other direction and get the rotten side of things. <clears throat> and so that's what the, uh, the blueberry breath is going to bring you guys. I mean, it's going to bring you a, a blueberry front with a, a real skunky back end. Whenever you cure it, whenever it's cured... You can take a joint, you can smoke that thing down to a roach, and at the end of it, at the very end of it, at the roach, you can still smell the terpenes through there. That's how I always kind of, you know, it's just kind of an old school way to tell if it's a real good strain and if the terpene percentage is really high. Is if in that roach, you can still smell it over all the ash and burnt carbon and all that stuff that's in there, that's how you know. And then at that same time, when you're, when you're sitting there looking, like, man, yeah. It's because you're t still tasting it. Even 15, 20, 30 minutes later, you're like, man, them old, them old terps, they stick around. And so those are the, those are kind of the, you know, the, the things that I've always looked for. And then when you get into, you know, when we started getting into testing some of our products that, uh, that that's, those were just reaffirmed that there's some of the old school stuff and those kind of methods that can give you a, give you a pretty good idea of uh, where things are. And so, uh, you know, the, the, this is going to be a heavy, heavy stone. This one's, this one's going to put you on your ass. This one will knock you out. That's the tagline. It'll knock you out. This is for the couch lock lovers. This is going to be the one that puts you into your seat. Get the cartoons and snacks ready. Get them ready. This is a heavy eating strain for folks that are on a diet. Don't smoke it. I don't recommend it unless it's a cheat day. <laughs> Um, it's, it, it's, it's just, it checks all the boxes, guys. It's going to be something that, uh, produces just very, very dense nugs in a very uniform manner that have a, a stank like, like no other. Like I haven't found in the, it really in cannabis period. Um, and especially in the auto flower realm. And I've grown a lot of them. I've grown thousands of auto flowers, you know, now at this point and, you know, probably killed just as many <laughs> to try to get to where we are. And so here we are, you know, with a, with it's rotted blueberries with a hint of purple that has some, that, that, that if folks know what the purple smell is, um, it's going to hit you first. It's the sweeter, sweeter side of things, but it's rotted. Okay. It's almost like, um, you know, if you had fruit that fermented right before it really gets that alcohol on there, it has a certain stench to it. And that's what we're putting off with the blueberry breath. Okay. We've got the, uh, we've got the blueberry breath. We've got then we've got the double berry slushy. Okay, the double berry slushy has been the biggest surprise to me so far, um, just because it has come out with uh, you know the terpene levels on this one. I, I, I'm I'm waiting to get some of the results back. That I, I, I'm uh, lab lab testing is very very intricate, complex, and detailed, and I don't really like to put a whole lot of stuff into one lab report. So we're waiting on a couple to come back to see the averages, but I know this one's, this one's going to be over 3% in the terpene profile, uh, the terpene percentages. 
Um, it, it, again, this is, this one's foul. It's dank. It's just, it's, it's rank. Okay. And whereas the other, where the blueberry breath is going to be sweeter and fruitier and that blueberry, blueberry muffiny on the front end, this one is the opposite. This one's going to be your rotten stank. I mean, that's all you can almost smell. But then as you take your, you know, take it away and that, you know, it hits back in the back end of your olfactory nerves, you, or you can actually kind of say, oh, whoa. And so the way I describe that one is it's like um, if a bunch of berries were thrown out in a, to rot in a barrel, then somehow an old lady with a secret recipe that was involved with magic or something, I don't know, was able to take that rotted thing and add some stuff like some sweet cream or something like that and make it edible. Okay, that's how it kind of reminds me of because it's, it's almost like how in the world could something so rotten also smell a little bit sweet at the same time. Uh, this one's going to be your extractor. You know, this is this one washes like a Maytag, bro. I mean, it's it's there. It's there. It is. Uh, it, it's for your hash makers. It's going to be for your rosin makers that I, I've pressed this one a couple of times. And it's just it's it's you got to keep the cap on. I mean, that's a fact. Uh, if you've got a, any kind of rosin containers or anything like that, you, you, you're going to want to hold the hold on to these terpenes. They're fantastic. I really am interested to see somebody use this to uh, either do a jar tech or make some actual just live diamonds because I want to see the terpene la layer on this really, really bad. <laughs> uh, I know it's going to be super, super good. Um, so that's going to be the double berry slushy. We've gone over the blueberry breath and then we've got Pappy's secret stash. I kind of went into it a little bit on... Uh, my last live when I was driving up to Mexico. Thanks everybody for the for you know hanging out with me on my vacation and uh, I was definitely getting getting some rays in. We had some great times, amazing sunsets, amazing views, great parties. It was just an all around good time. And so now it's back to the grind to get you folks all of these beans that you really wanted. Again, for those that have kind of just come along, uh, DreamBeans.net will launch on Sunday at noon, Mountain Standard Time. Figured everybody would be home, everybody will be getting ready for the big game, and all of those things, so you guys will be able to check out the regular line that was dropped on Multiverse Beans. That was dropped a couple of weeks ago. You're going to be able to get access to the uh, Blue Kong Bear, the Double Dosey Bear, the Slushy Bear, and the Grape Garlic Bear. Again, I'm re releasing 50 packs of each of those. There was also uh, uh, Rick Deval, Devalley. He um, he has gotten a real good company that does sexing. I know a lot of people are kind of weary about regs, regular seeds, and the ability to get possibly a male. Uh, he has a real good where we shared the article in a couple different places, or his post in a couple different places. The, the it's a very fast process. It doesn't cost very much. It's super easy to do, and it takes the guesswork out of it. Uh, so if anybody is wanting to explore that, don't hesitate to reach out to myself or Rick. He can get you squared away. He's the one who's been using it. I haven't used it yet just because I have the ability to, you know, I can grow a bunch of them and it's not going to really impact me too, too much. So, um, then we've got, uh, we got Pappy's secret stash. That's this guys. This is basically, this is the one that is going to be the two streams that I just, um, that I just, uh, describe the blueberry breath and the double berry slushy and I crossed them and then as a result of that cross we're going to get you guys' feedback we're gonna release them as F1s and see them all grown out see how they do and I am confident enough with my own breeding skills and stabilizing both of these lines and working them as, as extensively as I have that they will be they're gonna be great I'm gonna do a germination test as we always do make sure they pop at 99% or better and shoot them out and see what you guys can uh, do with them. I like seeing a variety of different growth styles, see it be it soil or reverse deep water culture or cocoa, whatever you, whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles your pickle. Uh, those are the things that actually help me be able to work the line and see how they are best cultivated and to be able to you know continue that project on. So that'll be the only time that I release those as an F1. They probably won't be back until they're F3 or F4 based on you guys' feedback. and. Again, this is kind of how you'll have control, you know, here in the Dream Beans process. This is going to be something that I think is going to be unique to Dream Beans and something that I offer just because of the simple fact that I'm a weed nerd, guys. I, if y'all don't know that I spend a lot of time talking to you guys, talking to the, you know, making posts, and, and I immerse myself at least 10 to 12 hours a day minimum with 
autoflower content, be it stuff that I'm creating, reading, responding to, helping you guys out, whatever the case may be. And I love it. It's because it's my passion and it's what I am here to do. And so I know for a fact that there's no other breeder out there that is going to offer you guys the handheld support and the direct access like I will. I've been able to do it for a long time for with, you know, tens of thousands of people in these groups and I still am, I'm I'm still able to do it and still able to do it effectively, I think. And so that's something that I'm I'm going to always try to be able to extend to you guys is the ability that you can talk to me anytime. If just hop on Facebook Messenger in the Dream Bean Support group, I'm going to be here a good majority of the time. If I'm not out in the greenhouse, you know, I'm always pretty quick to respond. I know you guys are probably all just wanting to know the one thing that I haven't told you specifically because that's just how I roll. Uh, <laughs> uh, when am I going to drop the fem line? Guys, the feminized line will be ready and will be released through Multiverse Beans on or about, I'm pretty sure, February the 28th. The last day of this month, guys, this one you're going to be able to get your first ab ab ability to be able to get your hands on the Dream Beans feminized release. Um, because Multiverse is a large part of what I do, a large part of my success, I owe a lot to Paul, CC, the crew over there, you know, of, of being able to talk to you guys and open up this channel. And so we're always going to try to release the strains first on Multiverse. You guys will be able to get them there. And then after they're gone off Multiverse or a week later or whatever the case may be, we're going to drop them on Dream Be DreamBeans.net. This is going to give everybody the opportunity. Hopefully we won't run into the issue where, you know, we do a drop and they sell out immediately and then people can't get beans for months on end. I've told you guys a lot of times that's what really got me into breeding and wanting to create a genetics line, which is being able to keep up with the demand and the demand grows every day. So I've tried to do my best to prepare on this one and moving forward to keep you guys with the ability either through Multiverse Beans or direct through DreamBeans.net, you'll always be able to get your hands on some Dream Beans. And if, uh, if for some reason, if anybody, if, we're, if both of those outlets are completely sold out at any other time, you know you can always reach out to me and directly. And I, guys, I have hundreds of thousands of seeds and you know, these are what generally get sent out as freebies and in the rock bud mix packs. Like I, I get how the, the, the freebies of the industry, you know, came to be about is because there's a lot of excess seeds. For example, right now I have, uh, I think, 26 plants going. I'm only going to be releasing the fem line from, you know, each of those crosses, one plant. Because that's how every, that's how people get consistency and that's how you're able to have somewhat consistent behavior in your phenotype expression through auto flowering cannabis is not taking every plant that was done. So you guys are get, literally, and this is no exaggeration, getting the top 1.1% of everything that gets grown here at the farm. And it's a lot. You guys are going, you, know, you only get the cream of the crop. And what that's the only thing that you'll ever be able to buy through Dream Beans is things that have been selected and it's the best of the best these are the ones that there's no doubt about it these are the ones that people want and these are the ones that show up on the in the pictures and show up in the in, in the pipes and bongs of the of the folks that love them okay and so dream beans gonna not drop uh february the 28th that's gonna be the first fem drop um on multiverse beans where you're working really hard they are almost ready i it would have been a week earlier but they need, I, I, I'm one, because I left the pollination open for a week, whereas normally I only do it for three days, it let the, there's a window that on the plant, there is the top part of the cola, and these seeds are all, they're all ready. There's the ones that are down a little bit further, they got pollinated a little bit later. Those aren't quite ready yet, and I want the whole thing to be ready for you guys so that we can have enough stock. Uh, so that's why it's going to be on the 28th <clears throat> versus a week, week before that. So uh, they're out there. Um, I am, as you guys have uh, heard me talk about, I've been working on my website, uh, dreambeans.net. And at this time, for those that have stuck around, I will let you, um, I'll let you guys kind of take a look. You know, it's been a lot of hard work from my web developer who is badass. If anybody out there needs uh, WordPress web design done, I got the guy. 
Uh, but here is the uh, kind of the first look and a little bit of preview for the, you know, those, those diehard fans out there. You can get a good look at what it's going to be look like, and it will be live on Sunday. This Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, it'll be live. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> it's going to be live Super Bowl Sunday at noon. This is this is this is it, guys. This is the. These are the. These are the ones that your parents warned you about back in middle school. It's going to give a history of uh, our farm. It's going into, you know, how we got here. You know, you guys are going to be able to, you're going to be able to see in the order. Okay. Okay. This is, there we go. We're back. We're back. Okay, Rick, there's there's Rick DeValley. He's uh, he's there. This is the order contact screen. We're we're, we're trying to make it easy, user friendly, super responsive. Everybody can filter. We're gonna give you the ability to filter through your best selected top strains, all that good stuff, and all the features that uh, you know folks have come come to know and love. I've basically tried to take all of the best things that I've seen from not only cannabis companies but um, other non-cannabis related it gives a little bit um a little bit about our stuff here's a little bit about kind of our process how we're actually rolling and all that you know we're doing uh we're doing the most you know you got your frequently asked questions all that good stuff you guys are really really gonna like this one i'm gonna keep this secret though woo woo that feature down there in the bottom, you guys are really going to like. It's going to be super, super awesome. Um, it's, uh, uh, it, it's, it's great, guys. This is, this is what I've been working for. You guys have been following along. This is, uh, this is where we are. So Super Bowl Sunday. Look out for the regular line drop of the Double Dosey Bear, the Slushy Bear, the Grape Garlic Bear, and the Blue Kong Bear. This is going to be the ones that were released on Multiverse a few weeks ago. For those that haven't, didn't get a chance to get them or missed out on a pack size that you didn't want, that we're going to put them back up there, 50 packs of each, and once they're gone, they're gone. This is kind of my introduction and kind of my, sh my, my love and give back to folks on that regular line release, and now it's going to be uh, now, then it's going to be uh, FEMS moving forward for the most part. Unless I, like I said, unless I get just an overwhelming demand of people really wanting the uh, regular seeds, I might bring them back at some point in the future. But no plans to. Um, so if you're wanting them, 50 packs are going to be available of each strain. The majority of them are going to be the three packs. That's what most folks are, other than the six packs. Uh, six packs are going to be available for the most part. Uh, we will have a couple of fives and a couple of, or a couple of... <sighs> I'm so used to doing the threes, fives, and tens packs. It's sixes, tens, and twenties, or whatever it was that I did. <laughs> so, you guys, uh, I thank everybody for being here, uh, for hanging out with me. And who's my who's favorite breeder? My favorite breeder. Ah! <laughs> um, this is uh, what I've been working for. You guys, I will be in the Dream Bean Support Center and on Multiverse beans as well as auto cannabis growers group don't forget to shout out to the different groups that we're all in and uh the illuminated cannabis growers group uh auto family that i just joined that one was pretty cool i i definitely like seeing the uh the some of the newer smaller groups that uh, are auto auto centric and auto specific they're always uh fun and i like being a part of them for the beginning so uh you guys are going to get your opportunity to and and, and uh, please guys i am hey <laughs> I have had to take a crash course in like what the hell a dang well, how to do a website or what to have oof. man it's been a, it's been an education trial by fire and so I am you guys you guys see my setup I mean this is this is where it all starts this is where the dream beans you know this is where the you know uh, this is where it's starting I'm not a gigantic corporation I'm doing this as a passion project and love that I've had for a long, long time. And so when we launch on Sunday, I beg you guys to please bear with me for, um, you know, us trying to get any of the kinks worked out um, and any kind of glitches. This is, this is why we're kind of also doing the reg release before we do the fem, full fem release that it's going to be, um, you know, so we make sure that we have a smooth customer experience. I am working on, I should have credit card processing on site. 
should be able to have all of the different payment options that, that you guys want, uh, Cash App, Venmo, um, and PayPal. So that's the, uh, that's the, that's, that's the gig. That's the deal. You guys have stuck around for close to an hour now, and now I'm kind of wanting to go and, uh, do another dab and watch my Oak Island, my history, my cur the curse of Oak Island, the show that they never find anything after 14 years. They haven't found crap, but I think they might tonight. So I love you guys. Thanks y'all for hanging out and we will see you out there in the dream beans world and the multiverses of the world. Bye, guys.